What constitutes sexual immorality? Online chatting, an emotional affair, porn, or just sleeping with uh, someone else? Honest question. Well, that's a great question. So, honestly, it is specifically talking about something sexual in nature. However, we also have the passage where Jesus says, if you even look at a woman lustfully, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart. So what do we have to do? We have to look at God's character and how he generally handles things. We need to not be too religious on this, because if we are, it actually gives license to people to uh, divorce for the minor, the most minor infractions. So is Jesus saying that if a spouse slips up and looks too long at something he shouldn't, that you have grounds to divorce him? That is absolutely not the point of the law. The point of what Jesus was saying is that this is a mercy on the spouse, that they do have an out, that they're not stuck with this person, but it's not an escape hatch for the spouse hoping to get out. Oh, you looked at somebody naked, therefore I can leave you, bye. No, that's not what that means. So while all those things could technically be categorized as sexual immorality, the point Jesus was making is that God has compassion on people in their situations. He was not setting up an escape clause.